So explain what we are doing here. Uh, oh, would you <laughs> like to camera? explain what's happening? Not okay. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to drive this nail into this board while it is resting on top of the dumbbell head by, held by Ethan. Trying to keep it vertical. On top of his head. So make sure the nail is actually directly over the dumbbell so that we don't get weird. Is it too high for you to hammer? Do you need to stand on a chair or something? Uh, I don't really know. Okay. Oh, I think, I think you might need to stand I think you need to stand on a chair. Yeah. <laughs> but don't, don't be bashful. You can really whack it. <laughs> it's so just just don't, like, your head. Just the important board. thing is that you don't miss. Should somebody hold the board, like, stable, too? But would you Polly, like someone to hold the board? Sure. Are you really sure you want us to do this? Should we get, like, a simulation dummy or something? Yeah, shouldn't no. we get, you know, Mythbusters? No, I've simulated on my foot already. <laughs> okay, how you managed to do that, I don't Go for it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> just do it. Oh, I'm just <laughs> Brad! I'm just kidding. It's going to happen. That's good. That's good. You didn't wow. die. No, it's fine. You're alive. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, my yes. gosh. And look, it left a little black dot. Oh, you went all the way through. Yeah. How did yes. you not die? How did I not die? Oh man, let's do some math. I have a, I, yeah. I have a mm, guess as to why. <laughs> yeah. um, Nathan's getting pumped up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, the hammer imparts a force on the nail. The nail imparts a force on the wood. The wood imparts imparts a force on the dumbbell, which m imparts a force on Brad's head. Now, um, at each of these points, um, uh, the fiend has to accelerate a little bit before it imparts the force. Right? Or while it's, I mean, while it's the thing, part the thing the that's form. being, has a force applied to it accelerates. Yeah. And yeah. so, because the dumbbell has so much mass, it doesn't accelerate much, so it doesn't apply much force. Is that it? Yeah, that's pretty, I mean, yeah. The, the board, the, the dumbbell has to accelerate, right? But it doesn't, there's not a great enough force acting on it to accelerate it much. Uh -huh. So we could draw free body diagrams and go through the whole thing and figure out what force it would impart upon my head. But yeah, essentially the force is pretty small. It's Newton's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's sort of usually used as a, a law of inertia demonstration, right? The, the dumbbell has a tremendous amount of inertia, so it resists a change in its motion. It's just like, it's sitting there stationary. So it takes quite a lot of force to get it to move, to, to start to move. And so it's resisting a change of motion. Yeah, that's, that's wow. it. How could, how could we have made uh, the situation, made it a little more comfortable for me? More comfortable. Stuck up. More mass. Yeah, yeah get, more, like, get a bigger Get an dumbbell. anvil on your exactly. head. Exactly. Yeah, and that's the demonstration that I saw and I wanted to do. Oh, did you? That's but why you wanted to do it. That's why I was asking around for an anvil, but no one had an anvil. Actually, Don has a bigger one of these dumbbells upstairs. Upstairs, I forgot about that. Oh. That would be cool to sort of contrast the way it feels, but you guys would have to feel it too. And I don't know if you're wavering. Oh, I don't that. really want to okay. feel that. <laughs> okay. Be well, there you go. More mass. It's, it's going to nice accelerate hat. less, <laughs> and it'll feel even better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>